Hi everyone, how are you? I hope that you're well. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tamara. Today we're going to be working on a few different DIYs in the Scandinavian style. And of course, that's always subjective, so you might not see Scandinavian in what I'm doing, but my hope is that you'll just find a DIY that you like and you'll be able to enjoy it at your own home. So I've got some wooden beads here. It came in a one pound bag and I'll give you guys a closer look. And I just dumped them in this big bowl I have because there's three different sizes and I wanted to be able to sift through and pick the sizes that I wanted. We're making a round trivet out of the beads. We're not gonna dye them or anything. They're just gonna be left this color. And we're stringing them on some twine. I'll give you guys a closer look of this too. It's just polished hemp, I guess is what it's called. And wooden beads, if you've ever worked with them before, are really hard to string. I found that out recently, but I did some searching on the internet to see if I could find a tip and they suggested putting some scotch tape around the end of your string, whatever you're using. Um, they said think shoelace, which is exactly what it looks like. And this is working so well. I've got these really, really little beads here that I've already started with. And you think that they wouldn't string on this very well because they're so small, but they're actually quite easy to get on here. So I would highly recommend this tip if you are ever trying to string wooden beads. Here's a quick close up of the beads that I'm using that I just dumped in that bowl. I got these at Michael's. Here's the string and I got this at Walmart. Okay, so you can see that the tip of my string that I'm using has the tape wrapped around it. And I started with the smaller beads in my bag because I want to make a circle and this will be the inner part of the circle. And since they're smaller, they make a tighter circle for me. So we're gonna just be stringing the beads on the twine. We'll just continue with the small ones for a while. And then I'm gonna transition to the bigger ones. So you'll want to make sure you string all of your beads and do that before you start gluing. You can see that you can really start forming the trivet right away to see how big it's going to be. And at this point I'm done stringing. I think this is going to be big enough. Um, I'm thinking put like a little candle on it or something. Here's how many beads I have left out of this one pound bag. I'd say I used about a third of the bag. So now really all we have left is to snip our ends and tie knots and then start gluing some of the beads together. So we'll do the tying of the knots real quick. You wanna make sure that your beads are really close together before you tie off the last end. You don't want any gaps in between your beads.
So what we're going to do is we're making a round um, we're making a round trivet out of the beads. Guys, what are you doing? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Liking and sharing this video really helps my channel. I hope you guys will come back for my next one.